What's up, guys? Jay here. I'm pretty excited to tell you guys about something I found out uh, in MoxieWorks, and it's one of the programs we haven't talked a ton about yet, but that's Moxie Present. And I know typically you would think of this as for listing presentations, and that's all that there is, but I found that there is an awesome buyer tour in there. So when you're taking your buyer clients out, there's a great tour that you can set up to send to them um, that they can view ahead of time on their laptop, or they're able to view it while you're out showing them. So I don't know about you guys, I got a piece of advice uh, when I first started out on real estate that's actually really been good for me, and they recommended that any time that I go take buyers out to see homes, that I bring a clipboard and print out um, the MLS listing for the client so they have that and can take notes on that. And I've had a lot of buyers over the years really say, hey, it was so nice of you, Jay, to, to give us that. That really helped us to be able to keep notes and everything. And then during COVID, Anytime that I was talking with a buyer, you know, we weren't touching, we weren't doing any of that. So I stopped doing that process and I've been looking for something to be able to replace that same impact. Remember, we're always trying to differentiate ourselves from the next buyer's agent. What value are we bringing to our clients day in and day out every time that we're going to go look at homes? And this not only brings them value, but it shows that you are up to date on technology and, you know, you created this, this great presentation for them. Every time that you go out to see homes, you could even do it if you're only going to see one home. But I think it's a really cool thing and it's super easy to set up. I was impressed when I was in there for the first time just yesterday, um, looking through there and seeing what the buyer tour was all about. So today I wanted to real quickly show you guys how to create your own buyer tour, um, what you would do to get it to your clients. There's a couple of different ways you can get it to them and how easy it is to add a few houses in there. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, Moxie Present and take a look. So let me drop this down here for you guys. So starting out, you land in, in Moxie Works, which has all the different tiles here across the board at the top here, sorry, all the different um, spots for you to go. But you're just gonna go here to Moxie Present and you click on that. This is going to take you to a My Presentations page. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you will have any ones that you've created in here. I have several other listing presentations in here. And I have a buyer tour that I created that we're going to go over and show you guys. But you just click on the button here in the top right, Create New. And that gives you all the options here. So your seller presentation, a property review presentation, a buyer tour, which we're going to talk about today, um, a buyer presentation for when you are meeting with your buyers for the first time, kind of explaining the process to them, and then really non-listing any other presentation that you would like to create. So you can get, um, you could do community presentations, you can do a lot of different things on there and you're able to share those on social media. So that's pretty cool. But for today, you're going to click on buyer tour and you go down to continue. And there are some other options for Coldwell Banker. I just use the default buyer tour right here under brokerage templates, should be nine pages, hit continue. And then you would type in who this is prepared for. Okay, so we'll just say Joe Smith. You wanna make sure that Bright MLS is selected because that's gonna help you do that. And very important, this is a really cool feature, allow notes and ratings. So what it will enable your clients to do when they're out seeing the homes, they can click on that home and add a review to it. They can give it one to five stars and then they can make notes about that home. And then it allows you after the fact, if you're with a husband and wife, you're able to see who made what comments, because it'll actually label it to the wife said this, the husband said that. So that's a really great feature. Instead of them having to write anything out, they can take notes on that, and then they can go back and reference those later. So then you would hit create. And then <clears throat> it'll populate, and oh, it's working here for us, populate as a new tour. So I actually did not, um, do this on the other one, but it does have a drive time option here that you can go ahead and put in uh, the client's work address and how long they're going to be driving. So you would just go through um, all the various steps. You can do a search where it will search for homes and you start looking for those. Typically, you're going to have these listings set up ahead of time and in, a, in an order and you're going to go into the listings. So you could go to search and actually pull up a search and then pick out homes from the search. Most likely, you're going to be already doing that through a Bright MLS and you're going to bring those in via the listings and you would just click on here so we don't have any right now add more listings and then you would just type in the address or you can type in the mls number 
So I'm going to jump back in and we're going to pull up the one that I've already done, not to waste your time with typing in addresses. Um, but we're going to bring up this one right here. Oops, I did. So this is actually going to pull up the tour, but <clears throat> we want to go in and edit the tour. So if you're ever editing it, you want to go back and change the homes, you just click on this little pencil icon. And we have um, Colton and Ellie here, so we're going to hit search. And then we don't need to do anything in here, so we're going to go over to listings. So I've selected four listings in here. And it's pretty cool, some of the things that you can do in here. This gives you just the basics for those, and it brings up the map. So whenever I'm doing a buyer tour, I want to make sure that I map out the best way to go view these homes. Um, so you would start here, at, it shows them one, and then shows them on a map where they're going to be going for the second one, and third, and fourth, and so on down the line. But you can very easily, once you add in the um, homes, you can change the order. So if you wanted to switch the order that they go in, you can very easily switch those around by just dragging and dropping. And we're going to go save the order. You can add in more listings just by clicking add more listings. And you can do some other cool stuff like you can add in the meeting time. So let's say we're going to meet um, tomorrow at um, 1.30 p.m. So that's giving them, and you could go in and do all the ones, but typically you're going to want to schedule for that first time where you're meeting to letting them know that. Uh, so that is all set. So we're going to then go to continue. And this gives you an idea. So that's that's all you have to do. You just go and add in those addresses. And I'll, I'll just show you real quick because I did not show you. Let's say we want to add um, another listing in here, how simple it is to do that. <clears throat> so if we just go in, and we'll probably have to do, I don't have another address right off. Let's see. Actually, I do have an address for you. So let's say they also wanted to see sorry let me delete this out just a second for that to refresh there we go so we'll put another address in here i think it just froze on this there we go five arcade all right so that's I put in the new address that's going to pull it up here and all you have to do is hit the plus sign right here and then that becomes one of the showings that we're that you're going to go see so you can click back here on listings now and now we have five instead of four and it'll put whatever ones you add right there at the end okay so now we have five in here and just as easy as that you can go in and take that one away so very simple to add in. I think it's valuable to do this, even if you're only going to see one home, because it lays stuff out for them. But typically, you know, you're going to give them <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five homes that you're going to go see, and this is really giving them some value, showing them you took the time to set this up for them. When it really, once you do this a few times, isn't going to take you much time at all. So we're going to continue, and I want to show you guys exactly um, what it looks like. So we'll go here. You can kind of scroll through and. You can add in different pages if you like. I didn't add in any pages. This is the basic ones that come in um, that are all set here for you. So if we go in to view this, or view the web version, you can also print it out. It'll print, it out, print them out for you if you wanted to have a paper copy in case you're at a home that didn't have good internet. That's the only time I foresee this being an issue, but most of the areas that we're touring have pretty good internet. So the presentation's ready. So just start scrolling down, <clears throat> and if you've used uh, Moxie present on the listing side. It's going to be very similar to how that works. There's some arrows over here that you can use those, or you can just scroll down. But it's really cool. It lays these homes out here for you. All this stuff is interactive, so they can click directly on the listing, shows them the map. Okay, one, this is where we're going to meet. They can check that listing out right here. Gives them all the photos for the listing. Just a real quick synopsis of the house, bedrooms, bathrooms, square foot, lot size. And they can just kind of scroll through here to get an idea of what this particular home is, the details that it has there for them. And this is what I was talking about where you're able to add a review. So you can see I did leave a review for this one. It has you put in your, as a client, put in their email address for the first time, five stars, and, and made a note that would love the yard. 
Okay, so <clears throat> that is how simple it is, and they could then go in and add another review or another note about that property, so they can continue adding things in there as they go along, and those will start to add up. So I think that is that feature in itself is really cool. They're not having to write anything down. Um, they're not going to lose that. It's going to be saved in there for them. So they can just X out of this listing here, takes them back here. They can look at listing three. And it's also interactive by if they click on the dot down here, that shows them, that highlights the one that we're talking about there. So they continue to scroll down. It's going to do um, just another layout of all the listings here for them that they're going to see. This does a side by side comparison for them. So they can see exactly, okay, they're all two, two bedrooms, three baths. We can get a real quick layout of the square footage. Um, they can scroll over here to the right. Keep going through here. Um, this is just another way to break it down. And if you don't like all these comparisons and all the different slides, you can take those out and just have the first one that's just the tour with the map and allowing them to click on the homes. Um, but it's going to give them different averages, different the prices of them. <clears throat> It's going to map those out, um, the price versus the days on market. Which is also, you know, they're always kind of wondering, how long has this home been on the market? This gives them a layout right there for them. Price and size, so various charts in here. And then it's going to have your bio and your information down at the bottom. And the really cool thing is, <clears throat> this also works really well on um, a phone. So you guys can see here, I have it pulled up on my iPhone. This is how your clients will be looking at it. You can have this pulled up as you're going through the properties, if that's easier for you. But you can see as it scrolls down here, it's a nice layout. I have a, um, this is a small phone, so it all displays really nicely on my phone. You know, if I click on, I'm clicking on the bottom left here for 406 um, England Town. And you can see here it has all of them right in here. If I click on this, then it's going to pull up the details of that particular property. And as they scroll through that, at the top there's a little arrow that I can go from listing one to listing two. Close that out. And you can see right here on the page, it'll allow you to go in and add a review. Let's see if that refreshes here. So they'll be able to put their reviews directly in <clears throat> the system for you as they're going through it. So it's really cool, a great feature that I think is going to set you apart from other agents that are not doing this. And it's going to be bringing value to your clients. And it's very simple. I think at most going through this, once you have the homes already picked out, five to ten minutes to have this presentation set up. If they decide to change one of the homes, you're easily able to go in, remove that home, and then add in another home. So I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions about this, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. But I think this is really important for you guys to do, having something showing that you are very tech savvy, you're understanding the market, and you know, giving them value, something that's different than others are doing. But I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time.